Welcome to rounds 5 and 6 of the Formula Golf 1000 Championship for 2015 and 16. We're at the beautiful Yas Marina circuit where Kato Paulson put it on pole from Mashabal Hajala. Omar Gazaz in third, new driver this weekend, Abdullah Bashara and Giulio Peroni. Nine laps, the race is around the full GP circuit, 21 corners, 5.5 kilometres long. As we are underway on board with our newcomer all the way from Bahrain, it's Abdullah Bachara as they head off down to turn one for the first time. Omar Gazaz up in third position as they head around turn one. And Abdullah just uh, suffering from a bit of a, it's his first start in the uh, FG1000, so he's actually doing very well at the moment as they head around five. And, uh, well, Kato Paulson struggling on cold tyres. Very cold this morning. Fog delayed the start of the uh, race day. And uh, Kato Paulson with Mashbal Hajala right behind him. And Kato struggling. Shara back up into a third position now. And uh, working on the back of... Omar Gazaz and now we've got a great battle going on between Mashabal Hajala and uh, Kato Paulson as they head down this long back straight very very late on the brakes and uh, this corner turns back on itself Kato just hangs out a little bit wider and gets very good drive out of there and gets up onto the back of Mash and this is a battle going on down as well there this is a replay you can see the pair battling in front and uh, Abdullah just running in very, very deep there over the uh, sleeping policeman. And uh, Omar comes back out again. Abdullah doing the right thing, lets him go by. You can't overtake off the circuit. You'll end up visiting the clerk of the course. And Kato and Mash are still battling down towards the end of the second part of the back straight. Kato runs very deep in under brakes. Now all of these corners around the, into the marina section are all off camber. And the cars skate around and it fall, track falls away as uh, you head it up towards a turn 15 and 16 it brings you into the braking zone into the, the Viceroy Hotel complex and Mash Kato are still battling over the lead once again all off camber through underneath the hotel and you can see Kato losing the back end of the car there track really cold in the shadows second last corner the last corner coming up very difficult to work at your turning points because you've got the entry to pit lane on the right hand side running out of the formula one pits Bashara and uh, Omar Gazaz still having this battle down the start finish straight as we head towards Shams Tower these cars as fast as the GT3 Porsche Cup cars around the circuit Shara takes a narrow line in there, runs out very wide. Omar watches him disappear off into the distance down near the uh, race and drive school. It's going past that complex now, and it's hard onto the brakes. In to the left-hander, and into Schumacher corner. And then this very difficult hairpin. He's just off the throttle for so long, got to get the car as straight as possible before jumping on the accelerator. Meshabal Hajal now with a run on Kato Paulson as they max out the Suzuki GSX-R engines. Mash working the six-speed sequential gearbox with his right hand. He did a better job of it that time and Kato just didn't get the drive. It took a little bit too much curb on the exit and now they head on to the second part of the back straight past the support paddock. Mash moves across, Kato on the outside. Track's dirty on the inside there, so it's very difficult to pull the car up. As they work through this series of corners into the marina complex. The F1 curbs on this track, they can't take too much curb, otherwise they'll get onto the big orange lump. And uh, here's Omar Gazaz and Abdullah Bashara. they work their way into the marina as well it's dropping back from the lead pair they're flat out through this right hander and then it's very hard on the brakes 
and uh, you can see Abdullah just lost the back end of the car there. Omar went very deep on the brakes. And a little bit too much luck there. And Giulio Peroni says, thank you very much. I'll have that position. Very good car craft for getting the foot on the clutch quickly as the car was rolling backwards. It'll destroy starter motors if you leave your foot off the clutch. Kato still out in pursuit of uh, Mashapal Hajala for first and second. We've got nine laps in this race. We've got four to go at the moment. Kato Paulson it. Nice dive up the inside, kept the car nice and straight. And uh, Mash just has to get off the throttle there and uh, let Kato have the racing line. The nose and tail as uh, they head into the marina. Just listen to those Suzuki GSXR motors scream as they come through this corner, relying on all the aerodynamics. We're on lap nine now and on board with Kato Polson who has uh, driven away from the field and his first race down at the Yas Marina circuit goes past the finish line and takes the win in a race number one Kato Polson from Mashabal Hajala Abdullah Bashara a very well deserved third Omar Kadez in fourth uh, and Julio Peroni in fifth we come back from Omar after that spin we're on board for a race number two another nine lapper a little bit more heat in the track and have a look at this battle going on for the lead down into turn one. Abdullah with a, a fantastic start. And uh, they're three wide in there. People are having to get off the throttle. Kato's now back in third position. Mashabal Hajala out in the lead. Abdullah up into second position. And Kato's got a lot of chasing to do, as we saw in, the, in that first race. Abdullah in his first race out in the Formula Golf 1000. Very, very aggressive and using all of the attributes of the car, all of the grip provided by the Hankook tyres and all of the downforce from the front and rear wings and he's chasing the lead at the moment behind uh, Mashabal Hajala. Giulio Peroni heads on to the long back straight using all of the six gears in the sequential box and just a missed shift there, Cato now up on the outside of in the braking zone and a big dive there from Abdullah I think uh, Mash did see him coming because Mash straightened the car up but um, Abdullah's really really spoiled his line there he's off on the green stuff there's no traction there and uh, he's relegated back now to fourth position as Kato Paulson and Mashabal Hajala continue their race one battle on down towards the, the left hander at the end of the second half of the back straight Kato trying to find a way through. The outside line just didn't quite work there. Back into the marina section again. Guys working very, very hard. These off-camber corners can really throw the back end of the car out. Omar chasing down hard now as he's inherited that third place. And he's got Kato Paulson and then Mashabal Hajala as they work out of the Viceroy Hotel. into the little short shoot behind the pit complex here at the beautiful Yas Marina circuit full Grand Prix track today 5.55 kilometers long and Abdullah now out in pursuit of Omar as they head onto the start finish straight both of them taking a lot of that curb on the outside can upset the car and Abdullah just having to uh, feather the throttle there because uh, he wasn't quite sure what Omar was going to do so discretion being the better part of Valor, he just backed it off, he'll have another chance very shortly as they head around turn three and the track starts to drop away, you've got the kink left at four and then it's into the hard braking zone at five. Has a look, no, didn't want to do it there and picked up a heap of overs, so you got on the dirty part of the circuit, a few marbles down from the other races as they're off the throttle now for a long time heading on to the back straight. And uh, Abdullah Bashara gets a very, very good a run out of there. Omar was just too far over the ripple trips, couldn't get the power down. And now they're side by side down the back straight, wheel to wheel at 220 kilometers an hour. Omar starts to extend away now. As the track narrows in there into the braking zone. And uh, Omar very good under the on the brakes as they work through the left-right combination that brings them onto the second part of the uh, back straight 
Kato Polson still in pursuit of Masha Bal Hajala. We're on lap four as they head down towards the race and drive school at the Yas Marina circuit. Into this heartbreaking zone. Big bump on that uh, curb on that side and on that side. Really throws the cars around into the amphitheatre, which is the hairpin. And then starting to travel down the long back straight. Julio Ferroni having a pretty lonely race out there. Learning his craft out of karting. He's still got the uh, cars in sight, so we know that he's improving. He's trying to get up with this battle that's going on in front of him, which is Abdullah Bashara and Omar Gazaz as they head through the amphitheatre. On this, is, uh, this time, Abdullah's got a much better run. And uh, Omar was working out, am I going left, am I going right? Well, he's still going left, and he's starting to push Abdullah off the circuit. Might have been a little touch of wheels there. Abdullah is still up on the inside. Omar moves back out wide again. And very late on the brakes. Misses the apex, but manages to hold it all together. Now they're side by side as they come out the other side of the corner. Great racing from the Formula Golf 1000s. And now Abdullah's got to do it all again. Omar's in front of him, mid-track. Abdullah just lifted slightly there, thought he was going to run into the back of Omar. Under the brakes. And yeah, pulls it off this time. Nice move. Gets all the apexes back on board with Kato Paulson. And he's still chasing down Mashup Al Hajala. We've got four laps remaining. Kato just 15 years old. Very, very polished driver. And he's closing in on the back of Mashup Al Hajala and Nice move under brakes. It's probably the same move that Mash made on him a few laps ago. And he put that one down in the memory bank and just repaid the compliment. And he inherits the lead as they head off into the marina complex. And Kato now just extending that lead ever so slightly. Mash closes up under brakes. Car gets very, very squirrely. He's trying very hard to stay on the back of Kato's car but Kato in the end driving away from Majibal Hajala to the extent that he had it coming into this final lap around about a five second lead as he comes through the final corner now corner 21 on the Yas Marina Grand Prix circuit and Kato Polson makes it two from two into round five and six of the Formula Golf 1000 championship and a very happy young man he is indeed. Well done to Kato Paulson, takes the win from Masha Bal Hajala. Abdullah Bashara, a great day for him. Two third positions, Julio Peroni and Omar Gazez. Let's have a word from Abdullah. Uh, race one was very positive. Uh, had a small battle with Omar. Uh, had a really bad start, but managed to overtake two cars. And the, sec the second race, uh, had a really good start, managed to get second by the first corner and uh, at one point I managed to get first but I blew it but it was a really tight battle with Amar. And that wraps it up for round 5 and 6 of the Formula Golf 1000 Championship thanks to Golf Oils, Towers Rotana, Campos and uh, we will see you next time when we go racing in the Formula Golf 1000 Series from the United Arab Emirates.